Oh, hey, we're back to this game. Yeah, I figured I'd get back to it before, you know, before I, you know, didn't play it for, like, half a year again or something. So, yeah, when we last left off, um, we were dying in a watery tomb. Okay, this, um, I want to say this doesn't look too bad, but we all know how that'll turn out. I already kind of see how to do this. Maybe I should just... Can I just, like, bum-rush through this? Not quite. Um... So... I think they explode when they reach, like, I think they explode when they reach the exact position that you were in when they first, like, when they were fired at you. That was luck. Whoa! 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 Speaking of luck. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Alright. Oh, I can kill these. Good. Because if I couldn't kill these things, I was going to say this was about to be, like, something really horrible, but... No, nah, I can kill them. Okay. Just got to be patient with this. And, you know, kill that one as soon as possible. Ah, eh, can't kill that one. Oh well. Hmm. Hey, any secrets? No. I jumped at the worst time. You know, I wasn't really looking down there, I was focusing on the fire shooters. Okay, I didn't really see what killed me there. Obviously, it was one of the spikes, but I didn't think I actually touched them. <laughs> Guess I did touch a spike. Okay. This is getting a little dicey. Ah, uh, that is hard. I'm sure that's really easy for someone who plays a lot of needle games and stuff, but yeah, that's, that's some tricky platforming right there for me. Ooh, ooh, whoa, that was close. Oh, ah! Okay, let's try to do this. Oh yeah, there we go, just stay ahead of the platform. I thought of that on the fly there. Okay, what's gonna happen here? What? <gasps> you stupid game! <laughs> uh, 
Oh, oh, good trap. Good trap. That, that, that scared me. I knew something was gonna happen there. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna suck. If I had a gun that could shoot through walls, that'd be really good right about now. Oh, this is really gonna suck. Oh, well, they die in one hit. I, I guess I can kill one of them, at least. What are those things, anyway? Like, they look like... They're, they're, they're like rubber ducks with a head similar to Flood from Mario Sunshine, and they have, like, harps for bodies or something. What a strange enemy. Well, I guess those would have to be harps. I mean, they spit explosive musical notes at me. It must be a music-based enemy. On that note, I guess I guess their faces would actually be like a trumpet or something. Oh. And as usual, guts was wasted. You know, I'm too busy focused on dodging to actually shoot over and kill that lower one. <laughs> Most of the time. Please be a save point after this room. Also, is the boss of this area going to be fought underwater? Because that would actually be pretty interesting if it was. I just keep wondering if I'm going to, like, slaughter the upcoming boss, if this area even has a boss. So I do feel like I was probably supposed to come here a little bit earlier. I really don't like these enemies. This is already becoming one of my least favorite, like, enemies I've ever seen in one of these games. Like if it's just one of like if it's just like one of them at a time or something, that's not too bad, but when three of them are all shooting at you at the same time. Okay, I need to stop moving back. I gotta like find the rhythm to this. Okay. Wait. Move right, move left, move right. Okay, okay, there we go. Ha! <laughs> Go figure, they're musical enemies and I'm having to, like, find a rhythm in order to actually get past them. Fits. Okay, I need to jump. I need to jump when it gets down to that one. Yeah! Okay, there's a mine down there. I already see what I'm gonna have to do with that. Easy. Now, what's gonna happen here? What is that? Wait, don't tell me. Oh. Ah. I was thinking maybe I had to make the mine, like, smash that open or something. You know, I really hope that's not, like, some kind of gate that only opens if I kill all the duck things. Because that would not be fun. Well, I'm just going to try walking into it. Oh. Wait, if I can't jump infinitely in water, then how the heck do I get up to the save point? How do I even get out of here? Wait. 
Oh. Good thing I remembered you could do this. All right. Ugh. This, this reminds me of the Bramble segment from uh, the original I Don't Want to Be Anything. Just hopefully not quite as terrible. <laughs> Oh, they bite you! Oh. Should remember that from, you know... Wait, can I... Oh, okay. Alright, good. Not good. Ah. Okay, this isn't so bad. I can do this. That's what I say about everything. Oh, that resets it every time. Cool. Doesn't reset the fish, though. Save. You know, outside of that incredibly annoying mine segment from earlier that I spent like over 200 deaths on, I like this area. It's fun. I've been saying that about several areas in this game, but you know what? This game really is fun. Compared to the first I Don't Want to Be Anything, this is a fun game. I enjoy it. I know progression on it is super slow, and I apologize for that. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm being so slow with this game. I should go way faster with it. Probably because, I don't know, like, I guess it's hard to get up motivation because I know there's going to be parts that I'm going to be stuck on for hours and hours, and I don't know, may maybe my struggle with death is one of the things that, you know, kind of killed my motivation to play this again for a while. I don't know. But, yeah. It is a good game. Oh, but getting through this part is going to be a massive pain. Like, it is going to be so hard to actually get those blocks in the right place. Oh, well, I got about halfway through that time. That's the problem. It's placing the block and then jumping up onto it. You have to place it just low enough to be able to do that, but it's hard to get low enough because of the spikes. Because if you'll notice, when you place the block, yeah, it... Yeah. It's like, it's, it's around your gun. It's around, like, around the base of the gun is where the base of the block is when it appears, so... You have to get down really close to the spikes if you want to actually place the block low, and that makes this extremely difficult. You know, if these blocks worked like those moving platforms and you could just, like, jump infinitely up through them. You know, do that trick. This would be a lot easier, but it doesn't work that way. Crazy as this sounds, maybe I just need to be a little bit slower with it? Yeah, screw that part! Oh no! Oh no! Really, game? Ah, oh, I walked too close. Why is it I can do the first one? Like, I can get through the first thing, but I can't get through that. I guess it's because I get nervous. Darn it! 
Ah. Oh, you didn't shoot the little ice block. Oh, it's gonna risk it. Okay, what's going to kill me now? Nothing? Presumably? Oh, good. Oh, hey, would you look at that? I'm going to have to note that real quick. Alrighty. Moving on. Did I just see? Please tell me I didn't see what I think I saw. Oh. Huh. I thought I saw mines, I guess not. I'm probably really lucky that I just got through that on my first try. Well, not my first try technically, but that later segment of it. I'm still hunting those secrets. Another thing that I can't get. Uh, I guess I better note that too. Unless I can get this. Is it possible? No. I, I still need to find some kind of gun that shoots upward. Uh, it really sucks that I'm going to have to come through all this a second time to get to this stuff. gate jump here like I'm, a, I'm actually gotten pretty good at gate jumps but put ma making you do one in the middle of water while jumping off of an ice block that's really hard to position properly that's uh that's another story well I messed that up my question is why are there like walking blocks in the middle of that platform. Is that another secret? 
Ah. Uh, that is hard. Mm. Hey, what am I doing? I just realized I'm doing that the hard way. Ah, uh, yeah, they want you to, like, do a small jump to position yourself and then double jump over it. Well, I was, uh, I, I sure didn't mean to do that. Finally! Ah, uh, what? Game. Really? Okay. Alright, we're cool, game. We might not be for much longer, though. Oh, this is gonna be fiendish. How do you even do that? Like, I can jump over, like, I can jump through the spikes, but how am I supposed to, like, place, how am I supposed to place a ice block after it and jump up onto it? I would have already used my jump. I, I, I don't get this. Unless I have to, like, somehow get an ice block over on the other side? Or I could just do that. I think that's what, I think that's what I'll do. I should have realized that, actually. Well, that wasn't right. Watch me die to the fish down there. It'll probably happen. And if I don't die to the fish, one of those spikes will probably fly out of the wall at me. Okay. Don't mess this up. Then. And maybe that's the end of the ice block stuff. Hopefully so. And uh, yeah, I think I got my answer to that. that up. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, this might not be either, actually. This doesn't really look too terrible.
Oh, goody. This area just doesn't want to end, does it? Hmm. You know, I guess I could actually place one so that it's, like, inside the moving spikes and I could still stand on it. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> hey, who wants to bet? That there's something hidden right over there. Oh, really? Okay. I would assume that, you know, my bullets would go through that if there was something there. Yeah, come here, fish. That was not smart. Okay, I was just confirming it to make sure. Really, fish? Haha, <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, great. Oh. Wow. That room's gonna be a downer. I can make that. It isn't quite as hard as it looks. You know, at least they follow the same pattern every time. <laughs> you just gotta find the right way to move through that. Please die. Ah. Oh. Ah, so close. <laughs> ah. Okay, that was a little sloppy, but hey, it worked. Oh, finally. I wasn't sure if I trusted those spikes, but I thought, you know what, I'll do it. <laughs> 